Here we are looking at the distribution of a random variable that has that measures the lifetime of some electrical component, has a probability density function, and we're asked to show what the CDF is. So it's a question where we have to transfer a PDF into a CDF. And this is a you know very standard technique which we need to apply here. So let's just write down again what the PDF is. And now we need the uh, uh, CDF, so it's a capital F rather than a little f, and that's the integral from naught to t of the PDF function evaluated at tau and over delta tau. So f of tau is of course just the exponential of negative tau, that's information given times d tau and we now need to find the function of which exponential negative tau is the derivative and that is knowing the derivative rules of the exponential just negative exponential of negative tau plus a constant of integration next we need to uh, um, substitute naught and t in here so first negative exponential of negative t minus negative exponential of negative zero of course we need to understand what the exponential function does uh, it's defined on from negative infinity to plus infinity and at a value of zero the exponential function is one and it asymptotes to zero on the negative branch and to infinity on the positive branch so therefore the exponential of negative zero is just the exponential uh, is just one okay and then therefore we have one minus the exponential of negative t so that was the first part of the question two now we need to show that the probability that a particular component lasts at least 200 hours that's value of two because we measure the hours in hundreds of hours is about 0.135 so we want the probability that t is larger than 2 it's the same as 1 minus the probability that t is smaller than 2 and that is 1 minus the CDF evaluated at 2 so we have 1 minus and then the CDF evaluated at 2 so that's 1 minus the exponential of negative 2 and this is now just calculator work it turns out this is indeed 0.1353 so third part of the question so now we have some sort of piece of equipment that uses three of these components and they are used independently and the equipment fails if any one of it fails and the question we now want to know is what's the probability that the equipment will operate at least 200 hours that means all three components have to operate at least 300 hours so let's write down the problem for starters probability that the equipment that's not the same as the component we need three of the components for one piece of equipment that the equipment lasts at least 200 hours now in a binomial context and that's how we should solve this problem as we are given a hint in that direction what we need is a probability of success for sort of repeated experiments now repeated experiments is for the individual component so we need a probability of success for each individual component and we shall define success here as a component lasting at least 200 hours and therefore the probability for that is 0.1353 uh, so it's a probability that a component survives 200 hours so that just comes from the second part of the question what we now need is the probability of three successes. Right? Three successes meaning three survivals over 300. So we call x the number of successes and therefore we need probability of x equal to three. And now we are well and truly in a binomial context because the probability of three successes meaning that all components survive at least 200 hours 
which of course is exactly the same as saying that the equipment lasts more than 200 hours in our example. So that probability is now calculated according to the binomial formula, get 0 out of 3, or better 3 out of 3, 3 successes, same as 0 failures, times pi to the power of 3, 1 minus pi to the power of 0. And now we just need to plug in 0 out of 3, the same as 3 out of 3 is 1, times 0.1353 to the power of 3, times 1 minus 0.1353 to the power of 0, and it turns out this is just 0.0025, which is the solution to the question.